for automatic injection process. Programming the Big Shot. Plug in the Big Shot injection machine to a grounded 110 volt outlet and attach the air supply. The Big Shot requires a minimum of 100 psi for proper injection. Turn on the power using the yellow power switch. Once the power is turned on, the machine begins heating up according to the last set heating temperature. Caution should be taken at this time to prevent burns. Set Heating Temperature To set the automatic injection program, first set the heating temperature. To do this, press the button marked P, Program button, until the green SP1 light blinks. The temperature will appear in the green SV window. Using the arrow keys, adjust the temperature for the material being processed. Set heating time. Refer to the owner's manual for material heating time. To set the heating time, press the program button until SPT is displayed in the green SV window. The time will appear in the red PV window. Using the arrow keys, adjust the heating time for the material being processed. Refer to the owner's manual for the material heating times. Press the program button marked P until there is a zero in the green SV window. The time and temperature are now set. Lubricate. Before injecting, prep the cartridge by applying a light coat of release compound on the outside of the cartridge. The release compound was included with the Big Shot system. Remember, the flask needs to be preheated prior to injection. Preheat the flask at 250 to 300 degrees Fahrenheit for 15 minutes prior to injection. Injecting. To start the program, press the star button. The AI1 light will illuminate, confirming the program has been activated. Once the AI2 light illuminates, the heating time begins to count down and will be displayed in the green SV window. Next, insert the lubricated cartridge into the heating chamber, plunger side down. Clamp the prepared preheated flask into the closing unit with the injection port facing down. Make sure the flask is against the rear stop. Secure the flask with the top plate and knobs tightly. When the heating time ends, the machine will automatically inject the cartridge. It will then hold for 35 seconds and release. Wait 10 minutes to allow the injected material to cool. Unclamp the flask from the closing unit. Firmly grasp the flask with heat resistant gloves and activate the green manual injection button. This will cause the piston to push the crushed tube and remaining material out of the heating chamber. The flask and tube will come out as one unit. To clear the program on the Big Shot, press the arrow left button. The program can then be restarted by pressing the star button. Let the flask cool completely before opening. Cleaning the Big Shot Using the materials supplied, clean the Big Shot every few injections. Deflasking. Now that the flask is cool, it is now time to deflask the appliance. First, before loosening the screws, you need to knock off the used cartridge with a hammer. Then you will loosen the bolts and tap the stone out of the flask. 